Hey, hey, hey everyone, what is up? It's me, Sophia Kelly, your makeup bestie, and I'm back with another video. I'm really actually very excited about this video today, but if this is your first time ever seeing me here on YouTube, Wow, thank you so much. It is just destined to be that you're watching this video right now. So I want to thank you so much for joining and all of my returning subscribers. What's up? How you doing? So in today's video, we're going to be going over the latest launch from Juvia's Place and that is the Nubian Earth Collection. You guys, we have an eyeshadow palette, we have lip glosses, and we also have lipsticks. I'll be 100% honest with you, I was not expecting this type of palette to be launched so close to summer. You know, I was expecting something with more color, but I'm sure we're definitely going to see that in the future for summer. I'm going to be going over everything that you need to know before you make up your mind and decide, hey, like, am I going to get anything in this collection or not? I got you. I also have a discount code so when you are in the mood for shopping, you can save some coins on JuviusPlace.com. It is listed right down here. So here we have the Nubian Earth palette. Look at this beauty. Welcome home. You're exactly where you're meant to be. So we do have the beautiful artwork that is typical of Juvia's Place. Front cover is not a gloss finish, so it'll be easy to clean and keep clean. I always love that. Now inside this palette, we do have 12 eyeshadows that do go unnamed, but we have a beautiful color story going on here. We have about four completely matte shades. We have one matte shimmer shade, and then the rest of them are going to be your metallic and glittery shades. Next up in this collection are lips. So we do have lip glosses and lipsticks. So let's jump into the lip glosses first. The first two glosses are going to be the lip reflective glosses. We do have the shade Oasis and we also have the shade Mirage. You will notice that these two glosses do have a little bit of shimmer to them. The next two glosses are the lip reflect glosses. Now we do have the shade Nubian Nude and we also have the shade Miro. Next up, we do have six brand new matte lipsticks, and you will notice that the shape of the lipstick has changed, and they've added an imprint onto the actual lipstick itself. The first shade we have is Nubian Sand, which is a nude brown. Next, we have Nile, a nude soft brown. Here's Morocco, a warm apricot. This is Soil, a rustic and warm orange. Here's Clay, a baked terracotta nude. And last but not least, we have Sheba, a rich, dark chocolate brown. So of course you already know I'm going to do some lip swatches for you guys as well, but I did want to start off with an eye look first, so let's get into that. So here it is, how beautiful. I feel like I am like, I am the Nubian Earth right here. Like This look right here is just absolutely glamorous, beautiful, soft, elegant, like... Let's, let's get into it. So bear with me because these shades are not named. I'm just going to go up with the description that fits it best. The first shade I'm taking is this deep chocolate brown. I'm going to go ahead and place this right on the outer crease and then bring that in as my transition shade. Now I'll be taking this brown olive shade. I'm placing this right between the bra bone and that first shade I laid down. Now I'm taking the deepest brown shade. I'm going to place this underneath my lower lash line. Now I'm taking this bronze metallic. I'm going to place the shade on the outer half of my eye and we're creating a soft cut crease. Now I'm taking this pink champagne. I'm placing this closer to the inner corner. Now I'll be taking this light gold. I'm running this along the lower inner corner. So I'm gonna finish off with lashes off camera and then I'll be back so we can jump into the lip portion of this collection. All right, you guys, it's totally time to dive into the lip section of this collection. So I'm gonna be doing the lip swatches for you guys because you know, like I, if you don't know, I am known for lip swatches on social media, so um, we're going to do lip swatches and I'm going to start from lightest to dark or just exactly how they had it on their website. I am not going to be using a lip liner. Towards the end, I'll pick like my favorite combination with a lip liner, lipstick, gloss, whatever, but I really want to showcase the color by itself and what it looks like and what it does, okay? So the first shade we have is Nubian Sand, and now this is going to be extremely light. It's going to look a little crazy without the lip liner, but here we go. Mm-hmm. Okay. Very pigmented. Very creamy, actually. This is creamier than their previous lipstick. As you can see, the shape is different. I will say I wish that they kept the shape of their previous lipsticks because I thought it was interesting and it made application that much more easier. So here is Nubian Sand, and I feel like Nubian Sand is going to look so nice 
just focused in the center of the lip to create that beautiful ombre in a nude lip. I really can't wait to pair this together with a lip liner and another lipstick. Um, but it does feel very nice on the lips. It doesn't feel dry whatsoever. Um, actually, like, I'll be honest, it almost, I know it's kind, I feel like it's a semi-matte. Like, I feel like it's a satin. Like, it's so creamy. It's not shiny, but it's like not super, it's not super matte. So next we have the shade Nile. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I feel like Nile might look a little bizarre. Just a little bit, because it's so close to my skin tone. So here we go. All right, so I will say that by itself, this color really isn't doing much for me, so I definitely would have to wear this with a contrasting lip liner, something a little deeper so that you can really see like, the, the you know, just like the outline of my mouth. Like we're losing it here with this color. Um, it feels a little bit drier than the first shade, which is not bad, but we still are getting this, we still are getting pigment. Um, a good test for pigment for me is that my bottom lip is so pink, so when a lipstick is able to conceal the pinkness in my lip, I'm like, okay, you you got the pigment, you are, you are not playing games. Next up we have the shade Morocco. I'm actually really excited to wear this with a lip liner and like a gloss on top. I feel like it's going to be so pretty, so here we go. How pretty is this? This is giving me that warm apricot color, but for deeper tones, and I think this is so pretty. Once again, with a lip liner, and I think this is a match made in heaven. I absolutely, absolutely love this color, and I cannot wait to pair it with some other things. The next shade is Soil. So we have more orange going on in this shade, and I actually don't have a lot of orange lipstick, so I'm happy that Juvia's Place came out with this shade. Ooh, honey, hold on. I actually really like this shade. This is definitely gonna have me wearing orange a little bit more because sometimes oranges, the reason why I don't have many is because first of all, a lot of oranges don't exist and then the ones I do have are like more bright and more shocking and I like that this is more of like a, a little bit toned down, still orange and I can wear this every day and not like, in, it's not like an intimidating orange. I really, really, really do appreciate that. So, Juvia's Place, you did your thing with this shade Soil. Absolutely beautiful. Next we have the shade Clay, and I think the name of the shade is so appropriate, right? Because it does look like that clay that we find in Morocco and in Africa in some parts. And I think, how beautiful, this is the terracotta. Stunning. It is giving me still some undertones of orange, but just a little bit deeper. Just look at that pigment. I honestly, not like trying on all of these shades so far, I'm feeling like this is kind of like a fall collection happening in the beginning of summer. That's what I feel like. This or isn't, isn't this giving, isn't this orange, this terracotta shade giving you fall vibes? Mm? Isn't this whole like neutral collection giving you sort of like fall vibes? I don't know, you tell me. Okay, next we have the shade Miro and this is a dark chocolate shade. Now, I'm excited but also a little hesitant about this shade just because it's so deep and dark. Sometimes darker shades get a little bit patchier when we have them on the lips, so that is where my hesitance comes from. But I'm excited for this shade because it's so deep and rich, so fingers crossed, let's see what it looks like on the lips. Okay, one swipe, one swipe wonder, looking pretty good. I mean, I don't see any pink, do you? Do you see any pink? Because there's absolutely no need to worry with this shade because it is giving you pigment. It is such a beautiful dark brown. Like, I didn't know I needed a dark brown lipstick until now, and neither did you. You did not need a dark brown lipstick right until this very moment because, wow. I'm just like, Dark brown, baby, where have you been? Because you just look so beautiful on this on this face right now, on these lips. And they did such a great job with the execution and formula of this deep shade because we are concealing the pink of my lip. It is not patchy, it's not streaky. It is so good. My gosh, I, like, you know it's good when you don't want to take it off. Like, when you don't want to remove it, you know it's good, but I have to swatch the lip glosses, but this lipstick with the look that we have going on today is giving me everything. It's giving me life. It is really giving me life right now. So 
Here we go, we're gonna go on to the lip glosses. I may or may not end up with this back of my lips, but let's see, cause I did promise a few like lip combinations for you guys, so let's get into these glosses. So I'm gonna take the reflective glosses first, and the first shade I'm taking is Oasis, and Oasis has some more, Oasis is giving me that peachy, like you know, between pink and a gold, so let's go ahead and see. Oh, this is, oh, this is gonna be so, Nice. So here we have the shade Oasis. Now the formula is a little bit thicker, but it's not sticky. That's the main point here. It's not a sticky gloss. We're getting a beautiful shine. It has a nice scent to it. It's not offensive in my opinion. Um, I do like what we have going here on the lips. We have a gold and pink reflex happening and I'm not wearing a lip liner. This is probably a little bit of residual from the previous lipstick, but this looks so good you guys. It's giving you like a little bit of glam, you know, like you're not, you don't have to try too hard to look so good. <laughs> now we're going with the reflective gloss in the shade Mirage. I will be honest, when I saw the shade Mirage, you know the first thing I thought about, I was like, this looks an awful lot like the Fenty Gloss Bomb, like the original, the OG. This looks like her, just in another packaging. But let's get her on the lips, right? Let's get her on the lips. Okay, so this one is going to give you a little bit more pigment as you can see. There's actually more pigment than the previous gloss, but it's not fully opaque and I will say this is more pigmented than the Fenty gloss for sure. Oh yeah, this is definitely giving me kind of like dupe vibes. <laughs> it is a beautiful shade. It does have a little bit more pigment to it, like a nude kind of corally pigment. Um, I'm not mad at it. It is very nice. The formula is great again not sticky whatsoever and you are getting a nice shine from it you know it is not lacking in the shine department i feel like if you are a fan of the fenty gloss bomb and you already know what it looks like you can definitely go with this as well if you were wanting to try something new but love the color i think this is a great like alternative to that because i actually really do like this one we are moving on to the last two glosses and these are the reflex lip glosses so the first one i'm going to take is in the shade nubia nude so when i saw this shade i was like "Ooh, it looks just like a little dead like it looks a little lackluster it's lacking life lacking color if you will so let's go ahead and try this on again i'm not doing any lip liners so you can really see the product Product showcase itself all alone uh, all right so here we have it you know what I will be honest it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be and I definitely don't feel like I have to be wearing a lip liner like this this could fly by itself going solo like this looks pretty nice I will say I really do love it and it is not a hundred percent opaque because I can still see like a little bit of the pinkness of my lip showing through but I, and I think it's kind of perfect because it does kind of balance the lack of life from this lip gloss so okay I kind of like this you guys it's like Nubia nude is looking quite nice and um, I'm not mad at it at all I definitely came into this thinking that I was not gonna like this shade but uh Lo and behold, I stand corrected, it is beautiful. The next reflect gloss I'm taking is in the shade Miro, and now this color is definitely, has more life to it. It's definitely on the pinker side, a little bit more nude. Like it's, I would say kind of, I would say this is like a mauve pink nude. Is that saying too much? Is that like not helpful at all as a description? Anyway, let's get her on the lips. Okay, so, I love how pink this is and how natural looking it looks. Oh my god, I really love this shade. And you know what I'm learning? I'm learning, I'm such a true believer and firm believer in using a lip liner. It's more comfortable when I'm wearing lipsticks to help them blend and just look really great on me, but this color, you don't need a lip liner. And I feel so confident, I feel so great with it. Like I'm like, I trust you. I trust you to look and do good, and it is. And I, and I really appreciate that, and so I'm, I'm like, okay, maybe I don't always need a lip liner. At least for the glosses so far, I've been really impressed because, you know, like, I love my lip liner and a gloss. Like, a lip liner and a gloss, and I'm good to go. Trust me. But, you know, I, I'm accepting that I don't have to always wear a lip liner. You know, I'm taking a step back and like, wow, you could do this. So, I love this color because as of late, I've been doing like a brown lip pencil with a pink gloss and this is just giving everything I need as is, honey. Right out, right out of the tube. Right out of the tube. When I tell you that this lip combination, ah, 
I mean, you can see it with your own eyes. What do you think? So I did take two lipsticks. I took Sheba, which was that dark, dark brown, and then I took Nubian Sand, which was the lightest color in this lipstick collection. Then to top it all off, I did take Nubian Nude Gloss over this, you guys, and it blended to such a perfection that I think is absolutely lovely. I think this is beautiful and uh, I hope you guys took some notes because this lip combination is doing it for me. All right, you guys, so here is the completed look and I cannot say this enough. I love the way this makeup turned out today. Using this collection felt so great and just look at what we created. Look at this masterpiece, it is just, everything glamorous and beautiful and I don't even want to take it off to be honest I'm like I might need to stay with this makeup on all day because it just looks so nice I'm gonna take a million photos look at this face look look at this face take it in so I had a lot of fun creating this look for you guys today um the Nubian Earth palette from Juvia's Place is a beautiful, well put together palette. I will say I wasn't expecting this color story because we are so close to summer. This collection definitely does feel like a fall collection because it is so warm and earthy and very neutral. It really does feel like fall, but here we are, we do have this. If you are a person that loves neutrals, this is definitely going to be your whole collection. Like, this whole thing is calling your name. If you're into neutrals, the palette is neutral, the lip glosses are neutral, the lipsticks are... Actually, the lipsticks have a little bit more color. The lipsticks have some oranges in there, so... but. This is an overall neutral collection, great addition to have. I will say that the matte eyeshadows in this palette did perform, the metallics performed, I didn't use any water, I didn't lay down a lighter base, like, you saw it for your own eyes in action, like, what happened happened, and it's looking really, really, really nice. So moving on to the lipsticks, I will say that I'm a little bit disappointed that they changed the shape of the lipsticks and the formula is slightly different. I will say that the previous shape and formula gives you a lot more pigment you know it is it is a little bit drier but not like it in a bad dry way and the shape was also very helpful for achieving like nice sharp lines now we have like a typical shaped lipstick and it is creamier um i feel like it's not as matte as the previous formula which is uh i feel like it's more of like a hybrid satin kind of matte you know like it's not extremely shiny and it's not as matte as it could be as a lipstick. Aside from that, I do like the color choices that we have here. I love that orange shade. I love the terracotta shade, that deep chocolate brown, guys. Like, that shade was giving me everything it had to. Once again, you guys, you can go ahead and shop this entire collection on DriviousPlace.com. I do have a discount code for you to use. Yes, I do. Everything will be linked down below. I wanna thank you so much for joining today's video and watching it if you liked today's video. You already know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. Feel free to drop some comments down below. What was your favorite thing in this collection? I want to know. Like, was it the lipstick? Was it a lip gloss? Was it a particular eyeshadow? Like, what was your favorite thing in this collection? I think my favorite is this lip combination right here. Oh, this lip combination is doing everything. If you want to see me on other social media platforms, everything will be linked down below in my description box. And while we're here, you know, we've come this far into the video and I realized something. You may not have clicked that subscribe button. So, you know, here's your opportunity. You saw the video, what I had to offer. Go ahead, give that subscribe button a click, join the family. And if you're already part of the family, thank you so much. While I have your attention, go ahead and press that bell button so you're notified when I upload a new video, of course. But that is all for now. Thank you so much once again. And I'll see you beautiful and amazing people in my next video. Bye, you guys.